People keep sending me this viral video of the chiropractor adjusting the giraffe. The timing was perfect. I needed a boost after recently watching a pretty upsetting video where someone, whose content I otherwise really enjoy, said that if you see a DC after someone's name, that it means that they're not a real doctor because chiropractic is pure pseudoscience. Womp womp. Well, animal chiropractic is some of the most compelling evidence against chiropractic being pure pseudoscience. Animals who get instant relief from chiropractic are not just having the placebo effect. I don't take care of animals in my practice, but about 25 years ago, I did get some training in a technique called veterinary orthopedic manipulation, or VOM. It was right around the time when I moved in with my grandma for about a year. Back then, Grandma had a neurotic little dog named Dolly that would pee everywhere inside the house. It was super gross. Tons of little nervous piddles all over the place. After the VOM training, I took a look at Dolly and I wondered if maybe she could benefit from the treatment. I knew that she had some kind of low back problem because when she ran, you could see that her back legs were slightly skewed off to the right compared to her front legs. The VOM procedure was very gentle and Dolly trusted me, so I went for it. Almost immediately, her back legs lined up with her front legs when she ran, and as long as the legs stayed in alignment, her indoor nervous peeing problem dramatically reduced. But if the legs went off kilter again, the piddling would resume. I continued with the treatments and over time the adjustments held for longer and longer and she didn't need it so often. Remembering this story got me to thinking about Dr. William Inman, the veterinarian who developed the VOM technique and taught it to both veterinarians and chiropractors. I looked him up online and was sad to see that he passed away just about a year ago in August of 2023. Since he's not around to tell it anymore, I wanted to share with you the story of how the VOM technique was born as I remember him telling it to us way back in the day. It's relevant, too, to the whole chiropractic as placebo topic. So, years before the existence of VOM, Dr. Inman briefly dated a chiropractor. This chiropractor happens to be an activator practitioner, which means that she used a tool, kind of like this, to adjust people. Dr. Inman did not think too much of this tool. What kind of an idiot would believe that this clicker could have any real medical use? Side note, it's basically a modified old-timey dental tool that was used for smashing molars. So, one day, he and his chiropractor girlfriend were hanging out in his office, and something something, and she left her purse behind. Dr. Inman was left alone there with one last sad task of the day. He had to put down a little dog whose back legs had gone out. That meant that the dog couldn't use his back legs anymore, and the owners couldn't take care of it so there was no medical solution. But before putting the little dog down, Dr. Inman looked over at the purse that the chiropractor had left, and he saw that stupid little instrument sticking out of it. So for whatever reason, he just went over, grabbed it, and started randomly clicking all over the spine of that little dog that he was about to put down. Fuck it, he thought. At this point, who cares? Can't hurt. And guess what? He clicked on something on the dog's back, the dog yelped and then jumped off the table and ran away. He didn't have to put down the dog, and the dog was able to go home and live a normal rest of its life. Dr. Inman was shocked and didn't know what the fuck just happened. So instead of returning the clicky thing to the chiropractor, he kept it, and he started randomly clicking on the spines of all his hopeless cases, and crazy things started happening. Turns out, whatever this was helped not only dogs whose back legs had gone out, but even horses whose legs had gone out. And it helped with lots of other tough conditions too. So, just like many developers of various chiropractic techniques, his method went from random what the fuck just happened methodology to a system with a rhyme and a reason to it. He developed the VOM technique and coined the term veterinary chiropracticianers to describe the practitioners of VOM. Anyway, the moral of the story is just because something had kind of a nutty beginning, looks kind of nutty, and perhaps even has an incorrect rationale for why it works, doesn't make it pseudoscience for the garbage.
it might make it a mystery for now, and if it saves lives or heals crazy problems while also following the cardinal rule of doing no harm, then awesome. And yeah, chiropractic works, NET works, and DCs are real doctors of chiropractic.